Hello there kitties, I'm Kari, the vacuum tube slash monotype witch. Again in my old lab at the Book Arts Museum in Wood. And uh, what I wanted to show you today is uh, the electronic project that I'm most proud of. Uh, the RPI to caster. This is a device uh, that can control uh, a machine invented in the late 19th century, the monotype composition caster. It, uh, the machine originally used uh, perforated, taper, perforated uh, paper ribbon uh, with, uh, with signals encoded in it. Uh, but, uh, that's the monotype ribbon. Uh, it was in fact a 31-bit uh, uh, parallel interface and uh, all those holes uh, they coded uh, positions in a matrix case uh, like the one you see here. The, um, this is uh, the most modern uh, version of the case with uh, 17 columns and uh, 16 rows but uh, the initial uh, matrix case or die case uh, as it is also called uh, was uh, 15 by 15 and um, the signals were A towards uh, O for columns and uh, 1 towards uh, 15 uh, for rows and uh, those columns and uh, rows, the coordinates, were were coded um, in the paper ribbon. Uh, it was done with a mechanical keyboard, uh, mechanical and pneumatic uh, it had uh, punches uh, that made perforations in the ribbon and uh, one row in the in the ribbon uh, was uh, one revolution of the machine's main, main shaft and most typically a single sort of type was cast uh, per revolution and uh, there were also some uh, control sequences like uh, starting and stopping the pump or putting the line uh, out uh, to the galley and the machine that cast uh, whole pages uh, of uh, text uh, as, uh, as lines composed uh, of, uh, of uh, single sorts of type that's uh, that's uh, where the name comes from, monotype, because uh, controlling to to the line casting machines like Linotype and Intertype, uh, which uh, cast a whole slug of text. Uh, this this casts um, single sorts, single letters allowing you to make some uh, corrections after you spot a mistake. You don't have to cast um, the whole line again. And uh, in order to get rid of uh, half of the typesetting and preparation process uh, done on a monotype keyboard, uh, and in order to get rid of this ribbon because uh, it's uh, manufactured uh, in uh, but a single factory from what I remember. Maybe not even that. Maybe not even that anymore. It's, uh, it's very rare nowadays. Uh, although uh, even into 1990s um, you could uh, get it and uh, after the monotype uh, and uh, 
had led to had mental type setting and uh, letter press printing be became uh, a thing of the past and uh, and uh, came into the domain of uh, artists uh, rather than uh, mainstream uh, printing uh, offices uh, and uh, the problems with uh, supply started and it's gonna be worse because um, all the equipment, all the parts, all the tools, uh, the accessories, uh, the materials, uh, they're no longer made and uh, if you can uh, automate away part of the monotype uh, composition process uh, it makes things uh, a lot easier and uh, here is where Caritac Electronics uh, comes into play because uh, I'm not the first one who did uh, make a device for computerized uh, type casting with the monotype composition caster but uh, I think uh, my device, uh, the RPI to caster, is uh, is the best uh, electronic design uh, that uh, you can come across in the modern world. There has been uh, a few other devices like uh, Mactronic interface uh, by Harry Macintosh and. Uh, computer to caster interface by Bill Welliver. When I look at the Bill Welliver's uh, device, it looks like a very clutchy pro prototype. Uh, I wouldn't even uh, put something like that in my lab. <laughs> I hope that uh, they become uh, better, but uh, from what I heard from Bill, he no longer wants to make those devices and uh, I still have uh, one more enclosure for this one and uh, I have the production files that I can uh, use for making the enclosure with a CNC mill and uh, I got a new design of a connection block because uh, what is remarkable about uh, about uh, my controller is that uh, it uh, attaches to the monotype composition caster right where the the paper ribbon is uh, read in the original uh, monotype design uh, you don't have to modify the machine itself it, uh, it's a real deal attachment. It's, um, it doesn't uh, require you to change the machine uh, in any way. You just uh, add uh, a thing of, or two and, uh, and then you can uh, take it off and uh, go back to the traditional Ribbon controlled uh, casting, if you want, uh, for the sake of uh, technological originality. And uh, basically, what this unit consists of is a Raspberry Pi, the B plus or later. That's why I uh, named it RPI to caster. It's pretty logical, if you ask me. Then there is an uh, interface board that uh, allows us to control the um, 32 solenoid valves uh, from the Raspberry Pi. It uses uh, MCP 23017 uh, chips and uh, ULN uh, 2803 drivers uh, and uh, and then uh, 
this uh, RPI to caster device uses uh, Matrix uh, from Italy BX758 uh, uh, eight channel solenoid valves that looks uh, a little bit like uh, stepper motors and uh, it uh, controls the airflow here we've got um, compressed air input uh, at uh, one bar because beca because the machine uses uh, one bar or 15 psi for all those of you who use the imperial system the inferior imperial system <laughs> and um, the control software decides uh, what signals to put out to the machine and uh, based on that uh, the channels in the, in the valves are opened Air is passed uh, through this uh, connection block uh, into the machine's uh, paper ribbon readout device, uh, commonly named uh, paper tower, and uh, the machine uh, will uh, cast the type or perform the control sequence and. Uh, the controller knows uh, when to to start and stop uh, sending the air signals because uh, it has a optoelectric sensor. This is a uh, slot uh, optocoupler that uh, that has. Uh, I uh, shutter uh, moving in and out, uh, blocking and uh, allowing uh, light to pass through from the diode to a um, phototransistor. And uh, this can be calibrated uh, precisely to, to catch the proper moment uh, at which uh, the machine uh, starts uh, sending the MTR and, uh, and stops and moves on to another sequence. And uh, the way I designed uh, this attachment is uh, it has uh, a rubber abutment um, that uh, Abuts on the back side of the paper tower and uh, it has two one inch pipe clamps here that uh, are used uh, with uh, the original monotype uh, take up spool for the paper ribbon and uh, this, is, uh, this is where the unit uh, physically attaches to the paper tower and uh, this uh, prevents it from uh, rotating downwards uh, it, uh, it keeps it uh, nicely in, in a upright position in this unit I uh, included a uh, emergency switch and uh, status uh, LED and uh, and also uh, from the very beginning from the first prototypes uh, I had a uh, reboot and shutdown buttons because uh, because uh, Raspberry being the computer with an uh, operating system as a matter of uh, fact uh, a uh, Raspberry Pi specific uh, version of Debian it, uh, it has to be shut down before disconnecting power because uh, otherwise uh, the data on, um, on the storage on the SD card uh, 
might become corrupted and uh, make the system uh, unusable. I think that the future editions of uh, of the com controller, I might uh, use different technology like uh, like microcontrollers uh, with. Uh, with uh, local area network connection and uh, using the MQTT, yeah, the MQTT protocol rather than uh, HTTP like uh, the RPI to caster uses. But um, I think it's the song of the distant future and. Uh, at the moment, uh, the device is uh, functional, but I still need to develop the the program that uh, translates um, characters in in written text uh, into the positions of the matrix case with. Um, with additional functionality that allows you to control the width of the characters. And uh, software development is not my strong part. I'm, uh, I'm more of an uh, electronic engineer rather than a programmer. And uh, I can make a nice device. I've been building guitar and uh, hi-fi tube amps and uh, making uh, other devices and doing repairs uh, on electronics I might which with a soldering iron but uh, I'm not uh, that good with uh, programming and I'm doing it uh, all by myself so that's what I wanted to tell you about uh, this uh, Opus Magnum of mine because uh, I'm very proud of this project. Uh, the way it is now, uh, the way I designed uh, the enclosure and uh, the circuits, uh, it, uh, it proved uh, very reliable. And uh, you'll certainly see it in action pretty soon because uh, at the moment uh, while I'm staying at, at the Bookard Museum I'd like to make a series of videos on uh, the monotype uh, casting machine uh, operation maintenance and uh, adjustment it's gonna be pretty complex and I probably won't cover it all but uh, I'll show you how to how to work on those machines uh, tell you some ins and outs of uh, monotype technology and uh, history at the bench again with uh, not just one but uh, two of my RPI to caster control um, devices for the monotype composition caster. This one is uh, the earlier version that I built uh, in the Netherlands uh, for two caster owners. One of them is uh, John Cornelius uh, and uh, the other one has died and uh, and his equipment uh, was uh, taken over by a printing museum in the northeastern uh, Netherlands and uh, I could consider this um, controller a late prototype uh, also in the way um, that it attaches to the caster. <coughs> it has uh, four, four bolts here. That uh, 
attached to hooks uh, like uh, like this and uh, this is uh, put on the take up spool of the composition caster and the lower part uh, abuts on the base of the machine's paper tower and uh, the enclosure is uh, pretty small and is uh, CNC milled and uh, it was uh, it was quite a hassle to find uh, a machine shop that uh, does such things in the southern Netherlands My uh, base of operation was uh, John's uh, shop and home. I didn't even have a soldering station back there. And um, the access to parts was uh, pretty limited. Taking it apart uh, to show you how it looks like inside. Over the course of uh, usage, uh, the USB ports uh, seem to have failed. The USB ports on a Raspberry Pi. That's why uh, a pair of them is uh, covered by insulating tape not to use them. This uh, controller runs on a Raspberry Pi uh, 3. <laughs> You would be hard pressed uh, to find one nowadays in the apocalypse. And uh, the enclosure separates uh, and uh, here we've got uh, Four blocks of uh, Matrix uh, series uh, BX758 uh, 8E1C324 uh, uh, Solenoid valves, uh, eight channel each, and uh, they kind of resemble a stepper motor in how they look. This uh, this is a printed circuit board that I designed. It uh, it has two MCP twenty three zero seventeen uh, input and output uh, drivers for the I square C bus and uh, and for ULN uh, twenty eight zero three output drivers for controlling the valves. The valves uh, operate at uh, 24 volts uh, DC and uh, the Raspberry needs uh, 5 volts DC uh, and uh, this is uh, a run-of-a-mill voltage converter that uh, is adjusted uh, for lowering the voltage for the Raspberry Pi and uh, and here we've got uh, some uh, status um, LEDs and uh, and two buttons the enclosure is uh, Hammond uh, 1550Z139 uh, a good quality enclosure from a uh, reputable manufacturer. People all over the world uh, use uh, Hammond boxes for effect pedals and uh, all that kind of stuff. True classic and, uh, and Hammond also uh, makes uh, transformers uh, for tube amplifiers. And uh, 
The connections on the back side of the controller are basically the pneumatic parts from uh, from the solenoid valves. Uh, a DB9 uh, connector for the machine cycle sensor. Power connector 24 volts uh, DC. A power fuels and uh, a 6 millimeter air input uh, connection. I didn't even uh, make uh, a laser printed file with uh, all the markings like I did on the production interface that I'm gonna show you pretty soon. And uh, it was uh, a little bit of a challenge uh, making this version because uh, I didn't have um, access to my uh, normal uh, production facilities uh, like I did uh, in my lab here in Łódź, uh, the, the second lab and uh, back then I, uh, I could uh, use a uh, multimeter, a soldering station, an oscilloscope. Uh, I had an access uh, to a CNC mill and uh, in the Netherlands it was uh, quite a field work even though I uh, took some uh, tools with me. This is uh, an uh, old style mechanical and pneumatic connection block made by uh, one of uh, John Cornelius's friends <coughs> and uh, this is a uh, new style uh, block made of uh, aluminum it's much more substantial and it has uh, connectors on a single side And uh, and this will be the new design. John tried to use a pretty thick uh, compressed air tube connectors. Those accept uh, five millimeter tube. That is not typical. This one is uh, four millimeter. And. Uh, it turned out that uh, when John tested um, this connection block, um, those connectors proved uh, a little bit uh, too thick. And uh, I designed the block for the connectors uh, that work with four uh, millimeter tube uh, and are found on the matrix valves. And uh, they fit in um, very nicely with uh, one millimeter gap between the adjacent ones, like uh, like you see here in a, in a row. So uh, this would be the prototype interface. It also has a meanwhile 24 volts, uh, 75 watts uh, power supply uh, assembled in this uh, enclosure. I made it to be rough and tough. Uh, I made it to accept some uh, really rough treatment. making the thing very durable and uh, on the contrary the new design uh, that, uh, that you see here 
uses a much larger box and um, almost all the controls and uh, lamps are marked uh, I designed the faceplate back then it was not Caritac uh, so no logo on it um, I just used the uh, RP2 caster and uh, the old school monotype corporations logo <laughs> And uh, the back side of, uh, of the controller, it has uh, markings and uh, the DC connector pinout. Uh, as a matter of fact, I modified uh, this controller. You will see it uh, on the inside that uh, it has a 7-pin uh, power connector. And that is because uh, it uh, features some uh, additional control uh, functionality that uh, allows us to turn on and off uh, the motor and, uh, and uh, compressed airflow and uh, water flow. It was just a development uh, project of mine that uh, I wanted to make uh, operation of the caster here at uh, the Bookart Museum uh, easier, <laughs> even easier, but uh, this is not the standard feature on uh, rpi to caster. This is like a, a uh, nice uh, Aftermarket mod, and uh, right now uh, we're about to see what's going on inside this box. Doing turndowns of my stuff <laughs> just to show you how they look like from the inside. And uh, here you can see uh, a valve assembly, also the Matrix uh, BX758 uh, series valves and uh, pneumatic connections and those connections and the wires were, were made because um, I reused uh, the valves from an uh, earlier prototype and uh, spliced the wires I uh, also used uh, the same design of the printed circuit board uh, that sits on top of the Raspberry Pi and uh, I also used a DC to DC back converter I uh, added an uh, emergency stop switch added the um, extra functions uh, control circuitry here and uh, all the orange wires uh, you can see going to the power sockets uh, they are those uh, control lines and uh, that's why the socket is uh, 7 pins rather than um, the typical 3 like, uh, like I uh, do on uh, the rest of the controllers and um, here is uh, the attachment uh, that uh, goes on the original monotype take-up spool. It uses uh, two one-inch one-inch pipe uh, clamps uh, 
to attach to the take up spool and uh, it uses a rubber abutment uh, that uh, sits on the back side of the monotype caster's uh, paper tower and uh, the way uh, it is done is very easy to attach and detach and uh, and uh, it's uh, really strong and reliable as for the the force that uh, you need to apply to take it off if you want to if you want to do it by force and uh, it's pretty impossible to do it by force you need to release the the plunger on the side of the paper towers to release the take up spool and uh, and only then you can take uh, the uh, control interface uh, of the machine. That would be it for now uh, for showing you um, the composition caster controller, how it looks like uh, on the inside the previous version and uh, and the current uh, production version. Back when I when I go back to my uh, current uh, lab in Gdańsk, uh, I also do a little teardown on on the first, uh, the very first uh, prototype of uh, RP2 caster that I. Uh, that I uh, then uh, built into a rack mount uh, enclosure. That prototype uses a perf board and uh, and the old um, Raspberry Pi B, not B plus but B revision two, the one with two mounting holes. All subsequent uh, RPI2 caster units uh, use uh, B plus or newer. As a matter of fact, uh, this very controller uses uh, a B plus, and uh, it also has a advantage uh, because uh, when I develop um, the control software. I can test it uh, on a machine that uh, has uh, limited performance. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, why I uh, could um, optimize the way it works. Okay, so that would be it for now. Bye!